All right, Easter's dealer in very quickly passes. Not miles away from the rule of 20, so they obviously did that quickly. 5-4, um, but only 10 points, so they pass. South also passes. West is now going to opt for one diamond, which is going to uh, stifle north. They were probably thinking they might overcall diamonds here, but not when West opens one diamond. North should be uh, should be passing then, sensing that the hand is not fitting nicely. I'm not entirely sure what West thinking. Okay, they bid a diamond. North's going to pass now. And uh, let's have a look. So East is going to bid one heart. I imagine. Bit of a nasty break in diamonds. This could be not so kind. Hearts are breaking nicer though, Jack 10 falling. Um, South's going to pass again. And now back to West, who should be bidding two clubs. 15 points for Singleton Queen, definitely not strong enough to be bidding three clubs. They should bid two clubs. And then a correct bid from East after just waiting for West to, to bid the two clubs. Not really sure what that okay, they bid two clubs. Um East now correct bid is two no trumps, which shows a balanced hand. I know it's not balanced, but balanced in the sense of got the other suits covered. Balanced hand overall, I should say. Um, and uh, 10 to 12 points. We know it's not 12 because they didn't open the bidding. So two no trumps here, we show 10, 11 points and a stopper in spades. Spades because that's the uh, the unbid suit. They should not bid two spades because that would be four suit forcing. Good, they bid two no trumps. Correct bid. And then West should raise this to three no trumps. West has got 15. Yes, it's singleton queen. So is it 13? Is it 15? Um, I would be raising. You've got a five card suit. You want to be in game. So I'd bid three no trumps. And that should end the bidding. I imagine. West is probably going to think about this because that singleton queen is somewhat off putting. You'd prefer the queen in, in clubs or spades or something where it looks a bit more useful. As it happens, the singleton queen hearts is, is very useful to, to East because they've got ace king, but they wouldn't know that, of course. Um, I think with 15 opposite 10, 11, you should be in it, albeit the singleton queen slightly devalues your hand a little bit. Yep, they bid it. Okay, good. West was uh, optimistic, which is good. Well, not really optimistic. 15 opposite 10, 11. It's game, isn't it? And now it's uh, south to lead. Probably going up for a low club. Yep, they do. Okay, so on the face of it, it looks like they've got two spade tricks, three heart tricks is five, and they're going to have to set some clubs or diamonds up to make their contract. As it happens, the hearts are going to run very nicely. Queen of hearts, ace king of hearts gets rid of the jack and ten. Jack ten falling means that you actually have five heart tricks, because it goes queen, ace, king, nine, seven, in that order. We'll mop all the hearts up. So they actually have two spade tricks, five heart tricks is seven. So they only actually need two tricks from clubs or diamonds, which they should do easily. They finesse the uh, ten of clubs. North plays the three and then asks for an undo. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, they meant to play the queen. That's kind of easy to let them. Um, okay. So North's got a bit of an awkward one now because they don't really want to continue clubs into that king jack x on the dummy. Probably want to switch to spades. Okay, they continue clubs. I'm not keen on that really because it's going to force South's ace, which gives West two club tricks now. I'd probably be switching to spades, albeit that doesn't really do much either. Um, South continuing clubs to exit. Okay, giving the lead away. That's not particularly costly. So now the correct declare play would be Queen of Hearts. <clears throat> Clearing it, getting, uh, getting rid of the Singleton Queen. And then crossing to the King of Spades and cashing the Ace King of Hearts and, and crossing your fingers. Um, if the Hearts don't break nicely, which they do, but if they if they were not to, you would have to play on diamonds and try and set some diamond tricks up whilst you've still got the Ace of Ace of Spades uh, on West. Um, they could cash the Jack of Clubs first, I suppose, given that that can't harm. Uh, or they could wait to cash that later. Doesn't particularly matter. Cashing it earlier is slightly better because it removes discard possibilities for the for the defence. They might throw a heart away, for example. 
Uh, yeah, okay, they cashed the Queen out, then the Jack of Clubs. It's the opposite way around to how I would have done it, but it doesn't, doesn't matter particularly. North letting go of Diamonds. Having seen two Diamond discards from North, I'd start to be tempted to play on Diamonds, but they're not really good enough yet. Let go of a Spade, yep. Now across to the King of Spades and cash the Ace King of Hearts. And see how your luck is. In this instance, your luck is definitely in. Jack Ten of Hearts coming down is delightful. So West should recognise. Four hearts have gone already, so the defence have five left. So Ace King of Hearts dropping the Jack and Ten means the Nine's a winner. Which means the Seven will also be a winner after the Nine defeats the Eight. Let's see if they recognise that. So cashing the Ace King, sure. You could probably throw a spade away because you don't. You're never going to make that extra spade and you might make an extra diamond. Very fortuitous in hearts, but fortune favours the brave, I suppose. Yeah, they recognise good. Nine of hearts. Now they want to let go of the spade and the diamond, then just play a diamond. And they're making an overtrick. Nice and easy. Doesn't matter whether they let go of a diamond first and then a spade, or a spade then a diamond. Uh, unfortunately for the defence, they are only going to come to the ace of diamonds now. Very fortuitous, but uh, had the hearts not worked, they would have had to they would have had to play on diamonds and hope for some somewhat kind diamond break. So now just exit a diamond, losing to the ace of diamonds wherever it is, and then win the ace of spades and the final diamond. That is the exact wrong way around to do it. Uh, playing the ace of spades means they're never coming to their diamond trick. There is no risk whatsoever in playing a diamond there, because you know the opponents have got no hearts or clubs left, so they have to lead you a diamond or a spade. Um, so they made nine, should have made ten. Never mind. Only an over trick, I suppose. But a pairs, that's the important kind of thing. Anyway, making game.